For this update procedure, you'll need a portable USB flash drive with at least 8 MB capacity. If possible, use a flash drive with an LED indicator light that blinks when the drive is reading data. The USB drive should also be formatted, to remove all files and data. Note, if you have any difficulty updating the software on your panel, go to the Benchmark Wireline website and contact technical support for help. Next, you will have to download update files from the Benchmark website to a local laptop or computer. Go to benchmarkwireline.com. Then click on Support. Then scroll down to Surface Equipment and click on Enter Support. Next, scroll down to Panels, and then down to the AMD 2A Universal Winch Operator Panel and click on it. Then select Guides and Software. Then click the blue Download Selected button on the upper right. On the lower left corner of the screen, you'll see a message that the AMD 2A zip file is now downloaded. Now place your cursor on the arrow and click Open. That will open a page where the zip file is located. Double-click the AMD 2A folder and you'll see the two file folders that were selected on the Benchmark website. The Guides folder contains operational information about the panel. The Software folder has the updates for both the Acquisition Board programming and the Touchscreen programming. Insert the USB drive into the laptop. Open the Acquisition Board Programming folder on the laptop. On the USB drive create a new folder named AMS2000. Copy the hex file from the laptop into the AMS2000 folder on the USB drive. Rename the hex file to AMS2000.hex. Note, the file name and the folder will have the same name AMS2000. Turn off the AMD winch panel, and insert the USB drive into the program slot on the front of the panel. Power on the panel and the update process will automatically start. If the USB drive in use, has an LED indicator, the light will begin to flash and will stop when the upgrade is finished. Then power off the panel, and remove the USB drive. If it continues blinking for more than 30 minutes, the update is finished, you may power the panel off, and remove the USB drive. If the USB drive does not have an LED indicator, it will also work, but will not give any indication of progress. It is recommended that, after the panel has been turned on, let it run for about 30 minutes. When finished, Power off the panel, then remove the USB drive and restart the panel. It is advisable to update both the acquisition board and the screens at the same time. Each screen will be updated individually. Insert the USB drive with the software updates back into the laptop. To update the screen software, open the downloaded AMD2A folder, click on Software and click on Screen Programming. Then copy the hex file, and paste it on the USB drive, but not inside the AMS2000 folder. Rename the file amd2aprog.hex. Remove the USB drive from the laptop and with the power off, insert the drive into one of the USB ports on the side of the panel. Power on the panel and wait for the screen to boot. It will go through several steps including a blank screen, initializing, starting hoistman and when both the operational screens showing the dials are displayed, the upgrade on the first screen will be done. Turn off the panel again and then remove the USB flash drive. Now insert the USB flash drive into the other USB slot next to it. 
power on the panel and wait for the screen to boot. It will go through the same steps as before but on the other screen. When done, remove the USB drive. Both screens should now be updated. After the software updates have been installed, the panel should be properly initialized. Begin with the settings button, then help, and then admin. Enter your pin and press enter. You can also use the factory default pin which is five zeros. Next uncheck all the locked items in the menu. Then click back, and back again, then restore defaults and yes. After a few seconds, the defaults will be restored and you'll need to turn the panel off and then on. The panel will restart and will initialize. Then start Hoistman and then display the operational screens with the dials. This will ensure the acquisition system is properly reset. Note, this process will also remove all log files.